Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, and in today's video, we got another package. So, a little quick backstory is that, as you guys know, I have done it again. I have ordered myself another puppet. <laughs> so, as you guys saw on my latest, or uh, couple, six, seven months, that I got myself a Grover Puppet replica, and I couldn't help myself to make my childhood self so happy more is by getting myself another puppet. And as you guys, as I saw how much you guys love my uh, my previous puppet video of my puppet review from JoJo Studios, which by the way, go show love to him on his YouTube channel. I'll leave it in the link description down below, and also go follow him on social media if you haven't done if you haven't done so. And with that being so, Grover kind of felt he kind of felt lonely, you know, like just having one just having one puppet, you know, wasn't enough. So, order myself another puppet. So, as a further ado, let's get over to unboxing. So, as you guys know, I'm a big uh, Muppet. Uh, I don't post a lot of Muppet content on here, but if you guys want me to do so, let me know in the comment section down below if you guys want me to do another puppet review. By the way, I don't know if I have mentioned this already in this video, but this video... Um, I did this puppet I did buy is by the same person I bought my previous Grover from Jojo Studios which I already know I already said go follow him go subscribe to his YouTube channel he's an amazing person and for also letting me to do puppet reviews um, yeah <laughs> even the comments below before as I'm unboxing this put your guesses in don't skip ahead I already know you you're trying to skip ahead. Don't skip ahead. Put your comments review right now of whatever the time step is right now. Leave what your guess is before I actually unbox this. And it's going to take me a while. Probably just going to speed this part up or something like that. There we go. Got it. I know you guys can't see the unboxing, but I have it off screen for a reason. Because I have my lens zoomed in a little bit. But also my room's a little bit, a little bit of a mess. So just trying to get limited as possible of my screen. But ooh, I just saw a glimpse of what I have. This is what I'll show you. I don't know if you can see it, but that's inside the box. All carefully. And now I hope you guys put your guesses in the comments because I'm about to bring the most famous, famous well-known Jim Henson creation puppet. Woo! Wow! Woohoo! That feels nice. Woo! Just seeing it in person, it's amazing. <clears throat> That's it. Ooh! Oh, this feels amazing. Sorry, guys. Uh. I know I did this last time in my video for like like you but believe me having a, a Jim Henson puppet replica not made by the Jim Henson company but like by basically by Muppet fans owning a puppet from from your favorite Jim Henson production let's say the Sesame Street Muppets Fraggle Rock anything Jim Henson has made it's so amazing to have a replica in your hands. Oh my gosh, you're so, so amazing. You know what? I hope you guys did put your comments, <clears throat> put your um, answers in the comments because right now I'm just gonna take them out of the box and show you who it is. Who I got from JoJo Studios. <sighs> I got myself a Kermit replica. The way his head just flops towards me, like, really? But yes, this is what I have got, because if you guys don't follow uh, JoJo, oh wow, this is amazing, I forgot, Atron, Atron, Atron Fleece, that's what it's called, but look at this guys, oh, it's not even at the camera, um, box aside, <clears throat> I bring him. I bring him to life in a moment, 
but look at this amazing creation that Josiah has done once again and I know there's other puppet creators out there but this is such amazing I put them on in a bit but I just want to show off but you know what I actually put them on to show you the and the show you close-ups of how it feels Ooh, this is a lot different <clears throat> compared to my Grover when you put the sleeve on Grover um, it's just his fur it's just his fur uh, layer so but with the uh, Kermit here he has uh, this black um, I don't know if you guys could see but let me see I'll pull it from here he has this black fleece in here and I remember Josiah saying the reason why he does this is to make sure the the Astron fleece doesn't uh, get into our when we sweat because when you're a puppeteer your arm does get sweaty time to time and it could be really quick and easy so this is why he put this black fabric here is so that it doesn't ruin the fabric itself so that's why he put it there but it feels so nice it feels snug not too tight not too um what's it what's the other word not too tight not too whatever but not too tight not too loose there you go not too loose and uh whoa believe it or not <laughs> i was cleaning my room the other day i know it's just random and my video is probably gonna be a little too long i don't know but the other day i was cleaning out and i know i was expecting a kermit and i'm all like you know what as I had this Kermit here, whoa, this feels amazing. But, <clears throat> you know what, here's the close-up of Kermit. Here's the close-up. I'm trying to focus it on camera. I'm looking at the monitor. Ooh. Ah, hi, everyone. It is so nice to see you. Ooh, one thing I also noticed is that Kermit is also, he does not have a skull. So, the skull is actually my hand. Because I remember that, um... Grover, when you when I put on Grover, he has this um he has this thing where inside of his skull, I once I slip my hand into um into his head, there's this grip that I could put my hand through and my hand is snug tight, so whenever I talk with him, um his mouth or his head doesn't move around, but I forgot when it comes to Kermit because he doesn't have a skull a skull a skull head right if that makes sense for those puppet builders that are watching but he doesn't have a skull head um my hand is actually his skull head if that makes any sense for those that are puppet builders and non-puppet builders i'm probably gonna post this in the puppet uh facebook group to so they could see if i'm correct or not but either way this is such an amazing build once again by josiah and i can't wait to do uh, if you guys do want me to do more puppet reviews from other puppet creators and that you want me to review their um, Their puppet builds of their character. Let me know in the comment section down below I'll be happy to do so and try my best to do to do it. But yeah with that Trump fleece I don't know if if I showed it to you guys, but it's amazing uh, the hand rods I noticed that Kermit does have posable fingers. I haven't tried it yet, but ooh Oh, it feels amazing. It looks like, like literally I could make him pose anything. Pose his fingers. Um, trying to see. Make the camera focus. But that's the Antron fleece for his hands. There's the puppet rod itself. Um, it, he is very flexible. And I can make him pose in any way. Uh, you know? I don't know why. Um, looking at the head right now. It's like giving me like the original... Uh, the Muppet Show. <laughs> Even playing with his mouth. I know I'm going to do this. I'm probably going to do this in a while in a video. Of like him just playing in the mouth throughout this video. But yeah. But it's so cool. I'm going to try to angle the camera back. So yeah, there you go. So you have a more proper view. Yeah, so I asked him to add, uh, add the legs to it. And look at this. Uh, these are his legs. His feet and it's just crazy like I'm not a puppet builder myself but I am a, a huge Muppet fan and like just having a Kermit in my possession is just like oh my gosh like as I said before in my Grover video like it's just crazy having 
uh, something from your childhood come to life and now you have like a possession of him, a possession of them and that not only to make others happy but you get to make uh, kids happy as well. For me, I am an uncle. I do have nieces and nephews and with my Grover, whenever I get the chance to, I always go by surprise my young I do have a young niece I always go surprise her with my Grover and she is a love she loves Grover so much I she even loves Sesame Street as soon as she was born I told my sister I'm gonna make your daughter love Sesame Street truth be told she is now a Sesame Street lover she is hey she has joined the Sesame Street fandom even though she's one year old two year old no she's gonna be two this year Obviously, she loves Sesame Street and she loves whenever I bring Grover. She hugs him. She gives him kisses. She even wants wants him to like play around and all that. So I can't wait to show her uh, when I bring Kermit around. And obviously, I still will bring Grover around. Um, but yeah, it's like overall, I enjoy this Kermit, this Kermit uh, puppet replica that I got from Josiah. Once again, if you're watching Josiah, thanks once again for um lending me uh for not lending <laughs> i was gonna say lending but thanks once again for making kermit and for making uh childhood me like really happy even adult me really happy because re because it's like so amazing when i see puppet builders online like post their puppet replicas and they show it off and i'm like man i wish i had that actually in my hands like i wish i have it like, you know, so I can make others happy, make not only make myself happy, but make others around me happy. And I'm kind of one of those people, you know, and kind of want to show off my talent. Like with Grover, I'm very talented, a talented person. And I really want to show off my skills of not with my impressions. And that's what I usually do with Grover. I go around and start, oh, hello there. <laughs> I should have brought him out. But I was managed to be able to puppeteer, so let's see how I do for a little puppet puppet performance. Like, huh. Oh, hi there, everybody. I don't know if I'm looking at the monitor, but hopefully I am. I do have my little screen monitor right there, but it's just too tiny for me to see, so I don't know if Kermit's uh, looking, looking there, so. Oh, hi, everybody. I'm sending like Ernie. <laughs> oh, hi, ho, everybody. Uh, hope you guys do enjoy today's video. If you guys do, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and um, well, uh, I hope I see you again soon. But uh, yeah, um, uh, I don't know. Roman didn't give me much dialogue. <laughs> but uh, I hope you do see you again in future projects, and uh, hope you get to see you there on the Muppet Show, or you come to see me on the Muppet Show. And one thing I wanted to show off too as well before um, I know I said this earlier or I'll probably probably cut that out uh, earlier during this recording but the other day I was cleaning and I came across um, a Kermit build half a Kermit build that I did on a vlog that I filmed many years ago it's still up on the channel of when I went to Legoland but it was a guest star of Kermit the, Fro of Kermit the Frog and at the time I was actually wanted to learn from Adam Kruinger. My sister helped me. My sister did help me build this Kermit, but it wasn't like this puppet build. It was mostly like just the head of Kermit. So I want you guys to get a good look at the uh, get a look at his head. I'm trying to make the camera focus on him. Even trying to puppet his um, position of the head. <laughs> so that's how you do it. Oh, that's so amazing. But anyway, um, this is the Kermit replica that I tried making when I was probably still in my elementary or junior. No, I think it was in junior high when I tried making it. I'm going to take Kermit off right now. I feel my arms is a little sweaty, so I'm going to try to take them off right now. But I do want to show you my little small build that I did a couple years. Make that a few years ago, but this was my Kermit. One thing I could say is that this is a completely different uh, build with my Kermit, but this is my Kermit, obviously, throughout the years. 
the strain, uh, the sewing has been coming apart. But this is my Kermit. So now I can tell you the difference between a handmade Kermit to an actual professional Kermit build. So with this one, basically I use the Kermit uh, Kermit pattern online, and the eyes I use for uh, I use styrofoam. I'm trying to make it focus, not on my head, but I use styrofoam. I use um, it looks like I thought it would be a strong fleece, maybe it is, but I basically use I went to Joanne's which I think they're closed now, but I use this green fleece and I'm like, eh, it's close to Astron fleece, whatever. Like, it'll, it'll work. And same thing with the mouth plate. I think the mouth plate's the same. I know I didn't show off a lot of the Kermit replica that he did, but like with this, I'm gonna show you the mouth. That's what I use is actually, I think it's actually, there's, I know there's another fleece name, but it's a type of fleece that I use from Joann's for all this. And I know from the puppet build itself, it's not much, but this is what I tried, and you could actually go look, if you go on my channel, you can find that vlog with this Kermit, and <laughs> add a deep, deep voice, because I messed with the audio, I didn't like it, but I sort of messed with it, and, well, that video was just a play around, and then with the styrofoam eyes, I forgot to mention, it wasn't, I didn't use fleece, I actually used marker, I used marker to color in the eyes, because the time we were making this, it was only almost time for family vacation. So it was just a quick, <clears throat> uh, quick rush. But yeah, that was my personal little quick build. But with this one, it feels completely different to the one I previously had. So as I said, with the mouth, um, I use... Oh, that's another thing. With the mouth, once again, I did not have mouth plating. Which with when it comes to puppets, you need a mouth plate underneath. So it doesn't bend out of shape. As you can see, like there's nothing inside. It's just cl it's just cloth. It's just cloth in itself. And but the, with this, it does have a mouth plate. Even with the fabric, I think it is Antron fleece. Even he even gave the tongue de tongue design to Kermit. And yeah, and then with the eyes, he did. I think it's ping pong ball. No, I think he silicone this. He silicone these uh, eyeballs of Kermit's. And then with the eyes, I think. It's little Antron fleece eyes. I know I really with the because it is Kermit and this is Antron fleece. I think it's Antron fleece eyes. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> so you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I know it is the like just a stick on. So I really gotta be careful when it comes to my having a little one around because I, one thing she loves when it comes to Grover is pulling on his nose. She loves to pull on his nose and. Sometimes the eyes, but sometimes I will back away because I do not want to ruin uh, Grover. But other than that, yeah, I really got to be careful. And I really got to uh, do my... Uh, figure out how to really perform Kermit and get the proper head position because I know he has certain... He has certain head position or... certain Yeah, certain faces he makes, but like I'm trying to get that iconic uh, face head. I know you got to... There's 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 a way to do it like something like that like like that but other than that it's such an amazing build once again once again thank you Josiah for be able to make Kermit and be able to deliver him to me on time go check out Josiah on YouTube go check out JoJo Studios on YouTube and go hit Josiah up if you do want a Kermit replica for yourself. And if you guys do want me to do another puppet replica review, let me know in the comment section down below of what character you want me to review next. Uh, but anyway, I hope you guys do enjoy today's video. If you guys did, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to click those notification bells to get every video I upload. And without further ado, I'll see you guys in the next video. So what seems to be the problem? Well, Doctor, I see these strange creatures every time I say the word, um, phenomena. <laughs> phenomena. <laughs> phenomena. It's the strangest thing I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. Do you mind if I try it? Well, sure. <laughs>